Good afternoon, it's Saturday. I have had the most luxurious, restful, peaceful morning that I've had in ages. I really enjoyed it. Look at this cosy nest that I've been in this morning. A third, third duvet has appeared. There are three single duvets on my bed at the moment now and loads of pillows and it's just so comfy. I've been watching vlogs in bed pretty much all day since I got up and I got up quite late. I got up about 9.30 and I got inspired to just finish my own vlog off for tomorrow night so I'm ahead of time with that. I have not got any further with unpacking my big Amazon box full of presents. I've got a feeling another one's coming today at some point. I even sat and ate my breakfast in bed today and drank coffee whilst watching vlogs so it was just heaven on earth. I've got a gig this evening and you know what I was sitting there just thinking this is absolute luxury I've been dreaming of this for many years <laughs> before I had a child if I had a gig in the evening the chances were I had the opportunity to just have quite a chilled out bit of time before leaving for the gig but of course once you have kids that just that just doesn't happen anymore so you know for the most part of when Izzy was younger I would turn up exhausted to my gigs but it would be a rest you know compared to looking after a young child and you know literally I can remember just taking steps onto the stage and it would feel as if it was wobbling about under my feet because I was that exhausted for years she didn't sleep through till she was five so I was so sleep deprived for five years and then like it was it was just still hard though because of the eczema and that wasn't her fault but oh, the luxury now being able to have a rest before going to the gig it's amazing so I'm not turning up shattered and it doesn't have to make a difference to you know the quality of enjoyment of doing your gigs <laughs> i used to do festival gigs and things and concerts you know where people had paid 15 quid a ticket to get in and see us with some of my bands and the pressure on you to sort of be good <laughs> it's quite a lot and i'd be thinking oh my goodness they're looking at me and they're all sort of rested and sitting there in their fancy clothes and their programs on their laps or whatever and here's me <laughs> like seeing visual distortions <laughs> because i am that exhausted but somehow adrenaline gets you through and people can't tell it's amazing but anyway those days are thankfully gone and Isabel is sneezing because she's just got up it's really late she's had a very long lie in she's got a friend coming over shortly I literally just went and woke her up and said come on you you have to get up and tidy up so she has um that was a long ramble that's you I'm gonna go run myself a bath now. I've run my bath and before I get in it, I'm going to do a lateral flow test, which is a requirement for my gig tonight. It's just coming up to half past two now. I'm all bathed and changed into clean clothes. Isabel's actually gone out with her friend instead. They've gone to Ikea because her mum had to go. So they've all gone together for a bit of a jolly from what I gather. My COVID test was negative and I've reported it to the app. Now this is something I haven't noticed before. So I've had the text back, which is my like proof of it. So it says you've got a negative one. It's likely you're not infectious, but it says, but a negative test is not a guarantee and there's still a chance you may be infectious. I've never noticed that before. I don't know if anyone else out there has had this same thought, but I really think the lateral flow tests are just not going to filter out everybody who's infected. I mean, apart from the fact that yes, they've got so many false negative results but people can cheat there are so many people out there that think the pandemic is a hoax or it's made up or it's a government conspiracy or they just are not taking it seriously or they don't care about spreading it to other people because they just think it's not that bad and those sorts of people might not take a lot of care when they're doing the lateral flow tests and easily get a false negative or they might get a positive and think ah I want to go out, I want to see my mates and just report it as negative because there's no way the government actually knows what your test result actually was. You look at it and you report what you see or people could cheat, <laughs> I think. And I bet there are loads of immature younger people, I'm not saying all younger people are immature, there might be people that just can't be really bothered to take it seriously and just go through the motions of doing it without fully understanding the implications of what they are reporting so there we are that's my thoughts on that but anyway uh, my hoover's doing a funny thing it's doing that which means that something's happened to the battery isabel used it earlier because she only gets her pocket money if her room is tidy on a saturday including hoovering it um so she's done it very last minute before going out so she could have her pocket money to go to ikea with i'd better investigate that might as well do the rug while i've got it in my hands yes the battery i think was coming out a bit 
good it is now not flashing i got a bit carried away i hoovered the entire downstairs basically um including the kitchen i've been doing laundry by the way and i've hung it out all over the radiators today and i've been filling my dishwasher with dirty things so i'm going to run that in a minute i was going to do a load of flute practice now but i'm hungry now so i'm going to eat lunch and then do some which i won't film but you know i had a bit of an infection up my nose over the last week or so i didn't want to play my flute with it because i just wasn't sure if it was going to end up aerosolizing the bacteria and ending up in my instrument basically and also i felt a bit grotty with it and then I was away, and then I had the Moderna side effects, and so with one thing or another, I haven't played my flu in ages. So I'm gonna go and do a load of warm-ups so that when I turn up at my gig tonight, I can actually play it, and I'm not all rusty, because it really does make a big difference. Right, what am I gonna eat? I've got two lots of leftovers to choose from. There is stew, which is pre me going to IBs. There's not much left of it. Izzy was supposed to eat it the other day. Mm. I'm a bit dubious because if it is on the turn I don't want to make myself poorly before a gig it smells alright I don't know, I'm dubious I'm not going to eat it uh, so I'm going to have leftover tortellini and tomato stuff from last night instead I've put the dishwasher on that's on the heat and while that's doing I'm going to put another load on because curiously enough after Isabel's big bedroom tidy there came a huge mountain of dirty laundry appearing in the laundry basket upstairs. That is on now. It's a kind of medium coloured load, not whites and not darks. Dishwasher's on and I've burnt my food because I spent too long going through my laundry, but oh, it'll probably be all right. It's quarter past three now and really quite dark actually. <laughs> It's very near solstice though, isn't it? I am having a really lovely day. I have to say it's just been so ordinary, so peaceful and calm and non-stressful. It's just been pleasant and it's about to get even more pleasant because I've got coffee brewing on the stove as we speak. I'm not going to film it, I'm going to go and do my practice now. I'm thinking I'm going to separate today into two vlogs, a day and a night because I've got a feeling I've talked quite a lot on camera today already and it will end up being an epic length if I don't split it up and also I know that the majority of viewers prefer the more everyday normal type of vlogging <laughs> and a smaller core prefer the musical related stuff so if I do this you can choose which one you want to watch or you could have both hey <laughs> that's my plan I've got two Christmas cards so far one from my mummy and scooting across one from a college friend as well oh it's so lovely I used to send so many Christmas cards I used to post about 60 Christmas cards every year well I say post no that's not true I gave 60 cards but many of them were hand given it's just the thing I was really into it and then they ramped up the postal prices in the UK one year I don't know when it was but I went to just deliver something like two small parcels and all the Christmas cards that I wanted to post and it was 44 pounds and I thought I just can't afford to do it anymore and by that point the social medias were sort of advancing and advancing and becoming more and more all-encompassing and I thought well I'm in touch with most people on Facebook as it was at the time so I now literally give out a small handful of Christmas cards every year and post just maybe even three to relatives that are not on social media or they are but I don't know they're special you know so yeah very few and um, I haven't bought Christmas cards for years because one year of course I bought loads in the January sales when they were super super cheap and I've just been sending those out ever since um, so yeah if you are one of those relatives and <laughs> by some remote chance you've found my channel <laughs> and you see the same card come in for three years in a row that's why hopefully you haven't noticed I'm actually going to turn my heating off because I am warm today. How's this doing? Uh, it's not done. That is done. So why don't I start hanging that out now while the coffee's brewing? This sock is suspiciously wet. As in maybe something's blocking the filter wet. Yeah, oh, I've got Soctopus. Right, camera down. This is probably slightly TMI, but I was just hanging out a bra there and thinking I really need to go shopping for bras. I am wearing a pre-pandemic one today. It does not fit anymore, <laughs> as do all my pre-pandemic ones. I need to go and 
try them on properly in the changing rooms. I have bought some since the pandemic, but I didn't get to try them on and two of them just didn't fit at all, but I persevered with them and ended up having to charity shop them. So I only have two and on the odd occasion, that's just not enough. They're both in the wash at the same time right now. <laughs> anyway, slightly TMI, but you know, I think it's relevant to the pandemic because I think a lot of women had trouble with bra buying during the pandemic. I'm this far with the laundry. Gonna carry on with that now. The coffee is brewed though. So I'm gonna, ah, sort that out in a minute. Ah, I was gonna show you, that was just down to 1.9 and I quickly shut the fridge and turned it just up a teeny bit, like a fraction, and then I opened it again, it was on 2.2. So, oh, the temperature obsession continues. Anyway, look, that's all hung out and sweeping round. There is my coffee, all ready to go down into flute cave and sip in between bursts on the flute. I'm gonna take a bold stab and guess that I have filmed enough for a vlog already. So I'm gonna end this one here and I'm gonna pick the camera up again after I've finished playing and put that in the next vlog. So the evening's gig, which is gonna be in a castle actually, a quite an old one. Um, I don't know very much about it, but I'll probably know a bit more about it by the time this evening is out. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this everyday sort of vlog, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, do you prefer the everyday ones or do you prefer the gig ones or do you literally not mind and we'll just have anything? Because um, uh, it would just be helpful to know. And uh, anyway, yeah, if you have enjoyed this vlog, could you please give it a like because it helps the channel to grow. If you're new here and would like to follow more of my story here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.